Hi everybody, welcome to February's Car Class. So February's, February's class we're using the Lighter Than Air Suite, which is the lovely hot air balloon stamp set with the matching dies and the designer series papers. I've made five cards that you'll create on these videos and everything that you need will be in your kits and all the measurements are in the measurement guide that you need. I've already pre-cut my pieces of card and designer series paper um, so you won't find the measurements in the video you'll need to go back to the measurement guide for that so for card number one I've kept it very very simple um, with just some layers of design designer series paper and some clouds so everything that you need all your dies have been pre-cut for you if they are standalone dies like this if they are going around a stamped image, you'll need to cut those yourself, okay? Because I can't send stamped images in your kits. So I'll pop that there. So for this card, we're starting out really simple and I've got a card base cut from Paul Party card. I've got two layers here. I've got a layer of basic white card. The edge doesn't look straight. It's not straight. Um, a layer of basic white card. No, it's not. I'm just going to cut a new piece. It is a terrible, isn't it? Let's cut a new piece. It's funny, it might look straight to me when I cut it. Right. So you've got a layer of basic white card. And I'm going to put that on my card so that it sits probably about half a centimetre from the left hand edge. Okay. Onto that piece of basic white, I'm going to lay out my diagonal stripe pattern piece. And that's going to sit right up against the left hand edge of that white piece. Okay. If you've got any excess, at the bottom of your card, just trim that off. So that's our background. You've also got a piece of white that can be stuck inside the card. Oh gosh, it's a good start, isn't it? And lay it inside your card. And then we need to do a little bit of stamping. So I've got some just scrap white card and I'm going to stamp the main balloon image, this one here onto the card. I'm going to stamp with bubble bath, which is a really light pink. And it also looks really nice in fresh freezer if you wanted to stick with the fresh freezer colouring that matches the dyes. So the great thing about this image is that you get this lovely white section in the middle. So you can either layer that up with this, another stamped image, either there or there, or you can use the dies and the dies are just fabulous. So this die here sits perfectly in that gap. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out with the corresponding die first. A little bit of twine attached to this. So just layer your die over the top. Secure it with a little bit of tape if you've got some. If not, you can always pop a little post it note on. And then I'm going to cut that out. These dies are perfect for using with the mini cut and emboss machine. So that's what I'm going to be using on. Videos. There we go. So that is my die cup hot air balloon. 
I now need to put this on, but I need to get rid of all those little pieces. These guys also work really well with the adhesive sheets to turn your dies into stickers. Just be quite sparingly, sparing with the glue. And then pop that in the centre of that white space. And stick it down, hold it into place. Okay. I'm also so using this die here, which is the strings of the hot air balloon. I'm going to stick that to the underside of my hot air balloon. Hold that in place. And then you've also got this little basket die. So I'm going to cut off those two top little strings. Like so. And I'm going to stick that the underside of this you know, just to make that basket look nice and full there we go oh no I could do that's it. okay that's now ready to stick down on our card so i'm going to use some dimensionals for this and i'm going to use these sparingly as well because i need to tuck some of the clouds underneath okay so that's going to go on my card out there okay. and then for my clouds I have a big cloud these clouds are cut from a mix of the give it a whirl dies and the hot air balloon set so these ones with the flat bottoms are the hot air balloon dies and then the ones that are more sort of fluffy are the give it a whirl set. So it's great to see how this can match with things that we already have in our craft room. Just adding my clouds. And there is no wrong or right with these clouds. You can just pop them on where you think they look nice. Once I've done that, I've got my sentiment. So I've used just a thin strip of white card. The height of this is one and a half centimetres. It doesn't matter too much about the length because you're obviously going to cut it down. And I'm using a hang in there and I'm stamping with pool party ink. So the same colour as the background. And on my piece of card, I'm going to stamp it so that it's towards the right hand edge. I'm using some of the baker's twine you get three you've got some of this in your kit you've got one a strand of each piece i actually find this easier to attach when it's easier to tie when it's on the card so i've just cut that off there and i've actually put that a little bit lower than i have on my original card so that's fine we can work it out Snip off any excess you've got on your card. And then take your piece of baker's twine around and you're going to tie a nice little bow. Just a little bow. Just shortening these loops, and when you're happy, just tie, just cut off where you think 
the scissors have gone really blunt. They've been used outside of my craft room. Okay, so that's my little bow tie. All I've got left to do is to stick on my little banners, which I have two. So that side is upside down. I've got one over here, and then I've got one underneath. So that's also just sliding in. Okay. And again, just trim off that excess. Okay. So that is card number one all finished oh actually i've just got to put on a few little gems so the gems in your kit i think you have three strips of each color so let's just cut these out of here so i've used the light pink here the bubble bath ones Now I've got a little bit of glue smudge here, so I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm just going to use my glue rubber to get rid of that smudge. And that's it. That's card number one all done. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you all over on card number two. It should be popping up right about now. Bye for now.